It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon here at store number one. We are doing one stop today. Had a chill day, a little bit of listing, a little bit of watching TV, relaxing. I'm gonna do some photography and stuff when I get done with this, test some of those video games, consoles that I got the last uh, couple days. So anyway, we'll see if uh, the media got replenished been a while my media girlfriend uh went home sick i guess so unfortunately no uh, new media today took a browse around the rest of the store to see if i could see anything new looked like there actually might have been a couple little things but nothing worth picking up so we're gonna get back to it sorry for the short one we'll be picking orders later though let's look at what's going out this weekend all right first up is an obscure dvd that's why i always say pick up these things like every once in a while if it looks like there's any value because uh, probably bought this a couple years ago, two or three years ago, and sold this weekend for $30. Uh, that's a $3 buy, so good one there. Next, we finally sold the In Living Color Season 2 sealed DVD set. Had a ton of uh, lowball offers on this, so it's good to see it sell for asking price. We got $38 for that. Next, we sold an obscure CD. Same thing. This probably was bought two or three years ago, paid two bucks, sold this weekend for $45. So plant enough of these seeds in your store and good things happen. This one is at home and it's funny, it's kind of a coincidence. I randomly started watching an old season of 24 this weekend and the complete series DVD set I bought uh, like a month or so ago uh, sold for $75. Um, like a good percentage of the seasons in there were still sealed too so it's a good buy for the buyer I hate to see it go but you know i only watch that stuff with in 1080p anyway i don't want to watch a dvd copy anymore so yep that's a good one that's at home then the next this is another real nice sale I had a buyer message me who wanted to bundle up four different dolls uh, she's from australia but we're shipping in the u.s she bought all of our barbie and the rockers dolls we got barbie dana and diva little kira head sculpt there i uh, got 44 each for those and then she added one more this is the moonlight magic barbie had 23 on her next up we also sold a kelly doll this is the bath time fun kelly with a little rubber ducky there and a bathtub got 28 dollars for her so good one there and then this is at home as well we just picked this up like a week ago at our funko pop stop <laughs> got 30 dollars for that han solo uh funko pop the 2017 galactic convention exclusive so gonna run home get this packed up and uh get ready for uh the next start of the new week see you guys tomorrow so we're out of work on uh monday nights we're gonna do our quick stop now this stuff at the showcase real quick a shadow run game we want 10 bucks for it though and then they have a bunch of the 12 inch uh star wars episode one figures it looks like some some original trilogy ones too maybe we'll take a closer look at them when we're done she put out some stuff she's putting out some books said she put out some movies but there wasn't much there grabbed a couple things to look at Nothing I'm feeling too uh, strong about. I didn't notice this uh, book up here, or this game. I'm gonna check that out. Looks like a Game of Thrones game. I wanted to see the game up there, the Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah. I'm glad someone's looking at it. That and the uh, PSP games too, right before they go out this. I know, it's in like a beautiful mint condition. Yeah, it's sealed. Game player? I do play games. Not as much miniature games, mainly like D&D &D and stuff like that. But... Oh man, me and my family have been into D&D &D for a long time. Have you? Nice. Yeah, I just left the group that I was playing with just because it was down in Lacey. It was kind of a oh, little bit too much. Yeah, it took up my whole Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Commitment. yeah, it was. I, you for sticking it out I did it for three years. Yeah, it was fun. I had fun. Good for you, man. Yeah. Looks like it's 50 to 100, but all over the place. Let me check just the new ones. Yeah, those little games. They're, so tiny. They're baby, little baby CDs. Uh, just a movie, Medal of Honor, The Cave. Looks like it might just be movies. Uh, this, have you ever seen that movie, Open Water? No, I haven't. That's like one of the scariest movies. Really? Yeah, it's the Butter Sharks. Well, there is, but it's more about a couple that go on a fishing trip and uh, or a diving trip, and they get left in the water by the and they leave them out there and they get stuck, so they have no. to like, yeah, I know, oh, it's that ni me nightmare of, scenario. That reminds so me calm. of one of my least favorite movies is 
called Frozen, but it's not the... Yeah, no it's on the uh, Brit, uh, the, oh air, the lift. It's the same I thing. I've yeah. never gone night skiing. Yeah. Because of that movie, know, and right? I hold to that. It is scary. Oh, that movie freaks me out so bad. That is my nightmare. I never want to get eaten by wolves. I never want to you know, fall down a gondola. Geo Tag Force. Just looking to see if I can find a comp for it. <laughs> Disc only, yeah, 14 bucks for that one. Yeah, uh, actually, no, like 25, that looks sold. That might be a Japanese copy. UMD, that's the correct terminology. Yeah, this one's $8. Though. Yeah, I'll probably just leave this one. A couple of lamps. Not much new in furniture. We got some bags and stuff, though. Need more Transformers. Yeah, I really cleared out all the records. There was a ton of them in here. I don't know if you watch anything good. The flock. Yellow. Sticks. In Boston. Some of this might be the stuff that was here the other day. Yeah. I'm not interested in any of that. See if there's some of these CDs. It's all these automobile, antique automobile magazines too. I looked those up to see if they'd be worth lauding and they weren't, so. Oh, okay. I, I grew up with the surgeons. Oh, okay. So I see that they're out. Nice. So I came in here one time and I looked at it and that woman came over there and she brought all those things up there. So I stood there while she was Yeah, putting them in. Yeah. Here comes this guy kind of walking like this. <laughs> Yeah, 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 of course, right. Wait, wait, wait. I was standing there waiting yeah. for her to put them in there. Right, right. They're mine. They're mine. Oh, my God. Wait, that just happened? No, this Oh, this okay, okay. Oh, no. And, and this guy comes in here all the time. And yeah, yeah. Like, They're all mine. They're all mine. Oh, no. So, they were a bunch of crap. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it ticks me off, you know. I said, yeah. I said, we'll look at them. You're not gonna block me off. And you, oh yeah, and no, of course not. And, yeah. then, and then, uh, and then, sit there. I have to wait while he does this here. Which one's? Oh, he's got to check every yeah, single yeah, one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, we walked out with the Game of Thrones, Song of Fire and Ice. Paid up a little bit for it. Used my coupon, so it was forty bucks. Then bought a Chicago C uh, DVD too. That looked like, yeah, get about eighteen for that. I think. Undercut everyone else. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's take a look. Looked like the selfie was good enough on this that I could price it up even if it sits around for a while. So, yeah, because it's going to take a big box to ship. So, probably my cost, probably 15 to ship. So, we're going to go pick our orders and get home and uh, yeah, watch some more 24. All right, parking lot's crazy again, guys. Had to park in a non space. I'm gonna get out of here quick. Look at this madness. It's madness <laughs> every day. What are we shipping out for Monday? We got a lot of stuff. It was a really good sales day. Uh, a lot of good number, or high number sales too. High dollar sales. First off is this Blu-ray collection of 007 movies. We just picked this up a week or two ago. Uh, I got $55 for the three of those. Next up, took a best offer. I have these Smithsonian models. I got some more up there. Uh, I've had this one up for 45 for a while. Someone offered 35 today, so I took that. Uh, next up, this is a good one. I've had this for a long time. It took me a long time to list it for some reason, but I bought this a couple years ago. Probably listed it, I don't know, a few months ago. I uh, got $100 for this. Paid 40 for it when I bought it. It's a bunch of these uh, Dungeon Master decks, but they're all sealed, so kind of a new open box thing. So good one there. Next up, it's at home. We just bought this last week. That Survive Escape from Atlantis game. Paid, I think, five bucks. Sold that for $75. So amazing flip there. Always love the quick ones. Next up, another best offer. Had this Batman Fugitive Trade Paperback. We had this one up for $65. Went back and forth with the buyer a little bit. Uh, settled on $55 for that. So awesome graphic novel sale next up we have unreal gold cd rom uh, 1999 got 25 dollars for that one free shipping so good one those pc games we bought that's out of that that stack so 
Next one, this one better be at home. I just went to the inventory location and it wasn't there, but I remembered when I sold the last one that I took this one back to take photographs of it since it's a pricey collectible. I didn't want to use a duplicate photo. So I'm pretty sure it's at home in my bedroom and I just never brought it back over here. That is the Star Wars Black Series Captain Rex, the Hascon, the original release of it uh still valued by collectors obviously so got that 190 dollars for that which is amazing some of those black series figures have really held their value some of them not at all like any of the force awakens stuff you can't give away but some of these like convention exclusives are amazing next up low dollar sale probably not even worth selling ten dollars for this zelda uh, game guide. I think we can do it under media mail, so we don't have to worry about shipping uh, weight or anything because it's kind of heavy. But yeah, a little dollar probably paid two or three bucks for it. Anyway, we're going to run home and get everything packed and we'll see you guys tomorrow.